Washington residents wonder whether there's a link between a pair of overnight arsons and burglars ransacking their homes early this morning. Those burglaries happened on Bond Street, not far from the burned vacant homes on Lexington. Nine News reporter Bill Price is covering Northern Kentucky News now live in Covington. Bill? Well, Clyde, as you can see behind me, the arsons pretty much destroyed both these vacant buildings, but I want to show you what really has some of these residents worried. If you just look down the hill here on Lexington Street, Bond Street is just a couple of blocks over, and that's where residents fear the fires may be linked to burglaries overnight in their homes. Now, the residents suspect the arsons kept police occupied while the robberies might have been going on. Ransacked homes are a few doors away from one another, and both of the residents work overnight. When she came home this morning, Lois Murphy found furniture overturned, and her home looted. Robbers broke into a second home through an attic, and there they stole items from shelves and dresser drawers. In my house was just the whole living room destroyed, the couch, the love seat, everything's flipped over, everything's knocked off the walls, everything's busted. Yeah, and I had a chainsaw and a wheat cutter and two lanterns taken from downstairs, plus my medication was taken. Now, both uh, Lee and Murphy say they'll do what they'll have to do to try to recover from these uh, robberies or uh, burglaries, actually. Covington Fire and police say they're continuing to investigate, but they uh, haven't yet told us that they're ready to link what happened with these fires to the two home burglaries just over uh, two streets over on Bond Street. Bill Price, 9 News, live in Covington.